بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وأهل بيته التيبين التاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم We are on responsibility number 36 from the book The Last Luminary and Ways to Delve into the Light by Sayyid Rida Husseini Mutlaq Responsibility 36 is similar to the responsibility 35 it's showing humility and humbleness. This is part two to that uh, chapter. So responsibility 36, he says, A true believer's entire presence must show humility to the 12th Imam. By this we mean that his body must be in the service of and ready to carry out the commands of the Imam. We must know that in the presence of the Imam we are weak and insignificant and that it is the Imam who possesses greatness and magnanimity. In addition, we must follow the Imam by our actions and our heart. So it shouldn't be mere lip service to the Imam. But do we really serve the Imam or do we just talk about it? We have to sit back and ask ourselves, what are we doing to serve the Imam? What are we doing in his cause? What projects are we working on? What books are we uh, translating? What uh, da'wah efforts are we doing propagating Islam what are we doing in our own life and our own households Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said save your family uh, from the hellfire so we have to work on ourselves. we have to work on others around us we have, most importantly is to work on ourselves and we have to ask what are we doing for the imam once we figure out what are we good at? Some of us may be good writers. Some of us may be good artists. Some of, some of us may be good researchers. Some of us may be good speakers. And so on and so forth. Whatever skill that we have. Maybe we are good at building websites. We build websites promoting the teachings of the imams. Uh, we volunteer our services in the path of the imam. This is dedication and service in the way of the imam. I want to uh, bring a story, for example, that we have mentioned it before, but I think it's appropriate to mention it here. When one of the companions came to Imam Sadiq salam, and said, we, ha we have all of these people back in our t town, and we, we are ready for you to rise up and overthrow this government. We have all of these people at your service, thousands of people. So I uh, Imam you know, is talking with him, and then Imam tells him, tells him to go get in that fire. There's an oven, right? He tells him, go get in that big oven and that fire. He says, oh, what did I do? What did I say? Why are you trying to punish me? The Imam says, I'm not trying to punish you, you know, and then this the guy doesn't go get in the fire. The Imam sees another one of his companions walking. He says, you know, calls him by his name, says, go get in that uh, fire. The companion puts his shoes down, steps in the fire, and sits down in there. Right? The other guy, he's amazed. What is this guy's burning or something? He doesn't hear, you know, any screaming or anything. Then he tells the person to come out of the fire. Person comes out of the fire, puts his shoes on, his clothes are not even burnt. The fire was made cool for him like the fire was made cool for Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. The thing we see here that this companion was totally submissive to the Imam. He had humility and humbleness toward the Imam. He accepted all of his commands. Then the Imam turned toward this person and said, Do you have any of these people you are saying that want to rise up and, and for our cause and fight for our cause? Are they any of them like this man that went and listened to our commands and obeyed our commands and sat in that fire? Didn't even ask. He said, Allah says obey, you know, uh, Allah says to obey uh, the Imam, those in charge of authority amongst you, which is Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasalam. He obeyed his imam. He didn't challenge his imam and say, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Why are you telling me to go do that? Imam commanded him and he obeyed because he knew that obedience to the imam is binding. And this other companion who wanted to do the revolution, he said, no, we do not have even a single person like this. And then the imam told him, we know best when to rise and to when to sit. So we have to see, we have to ask ourselves, are we just saying that we are supporting the Imam? 
Or what are we doing in our actions for the Imam? This is important. And then he closes this short chapter with the the supplication from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam that he says on Fridays that we mentioned in the last uh, the last class, the last uh, responsibility. He says, "O oh Allah, indeed I seek nearness to you with a submissive heart, and I seek nearness to your representative with a body that is humble, and I seek nearness to the rightly guided imams by a heart filled with humility." May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to be the supporters of the imam by our words and our actions and have a submissive heart to our imam and obey them and their commands and be ready and able to support our imam in whatever capacity that he wants us to support him in. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad.